Okay, I know you've been asked this all day, but how's the bionic hip? It's great, really good, you know? I always say they don't make them like they used to, and there's not many of us left, so we're doing very well. We've had some great medical care and good rehab, and I certainly appreciate all the thoughts and prayers that so many people talk to me about, so we thank you for that. Is it going to affect your back pedal? No. <laughs> you still can be good for that, huh? I can do that. You know, there's another thing on uh, news we saw today, the academic progress rate. Uh, it's got to be something you're very thrilled with. I guess when you finish second only to Vandy in the SEC, you guys are doing something right. Well, I, I think that's one of the goals of the program is to make sure that our guys have a chance to be more successful as people. And a big part of that is they create a lot of value for themselves when they graduate from school. So uh, I'm very proud of the fact that you know, we're one of the top teams in the conference in graduation rate and overall APR and all those types of things. And uh, we've got a lot of people who do a really good job as a part of our team to make that happen. Segwaying that into the team focused event here, how important is it to, you know, have a father figure for these young men to possibly change? Well, I think what Mike has done is really unique in terms of uh, the leadership that he's, you know, sort of showing and the example that he set for so many of us to, you know, try to do something to help young people. Um, and for him to try to create a family situation for some of these guys so they have something to look up to and have a better chance to be successful in life, I think is really special. Coach, what is your impression of the college football rule changes and are you satisfied with those changes? Which, what are the, the targeting and the two-man wedge and the overtime and I think it's a crackback? Is that a yeah, I, I think they're all good rules. You know, most of them are all about player safety. Um, and I think that's something that's got to be really important to all of us, you know, in the game right now. And, um, you know, I, I think they'll all, you know, be real positive. Can you talk about getting back to that Alabama factor you've talked about? Most people, a 14 and one season is what you're trying to build toward. Well, but I, I you know, I think that we've always tried to have a team uh, that plays with a lot of discipline and you know, very responsible and accountable to do their job at a high level and a high standard on a very consistent basis. And uh, everybody's got to put the team first. So, um, you know, and it's my responsibility, but you know, the way we finished the season, you know, I wondered about some of those things, um, whether it was people worrying about outcomes uh, or losing our humility because we won so many games, I don't know, but, um, we played against a really good team and we got exposed and uh, we didn't play our best game and you always want to play your best in the big games and as a coach you know I'm disappointed in the job I did to help our players do that. Another good year in the NFL draft what are your thoughts about some of the opportunities those guys have? Well you know I'm, I'm really happy for our players I, I know it's you know their dream to be able to play you know at the next level and uh, we're very proud of the fact that we've had 32 guys drafted in the last three years, 22 in the last two years, and 10 this year. So um, we wish those guys well, and you know we want every guy in our program to get drafted as high as possible. So um, you know we've got some guys that have some great opportunities, and we wish them well. I think the one thing that you know sometimes players don't maybe look at is. You know, the, when you get drafted, they think about getting drafted, getting drafted, getting drafted. But that, that's just the starting point. You know, really the number one thing you need to focus on is, you know, what do I need to do to have a great career uh, and play for as long as possible and be the best player I can be. And things will always work out if you can do that. Coach, the SEC meetings are coming up in Destin, Florida. Do you have any points of emphasis from you that you try to – Bring up to other coaches no, I, I think you know probably everybody's a little bit concerned about roster management. You know, with all the transfers, graduate transfers. Uh, you know, it's just uh, guys go out early for the draft, so it's, it's very difficult for some of us to manage to 85. Um, so maybe we can talk about some of the things that we can do to help some of those causes. There's a thought that people who don't get drafted maybe could come back kind of like it is in basketball. Is that just impossible with the way the recruiting calendar works in football? Or would you like to see maybe? Um, you know, if we're going to have this many guys go out for the draft, that's obviously a solution that maybe some people should look at. But if that were the case in football, how many guys would go out for the draft? I mean, you could kiss spring practice goodbye. Um, you know, you wouldn't even know what kind of team or who was going to be on your team for the next year. 
how would you know how many guys you can recruit when you don't know how many guys are coming back to your team? I think when you have smaller numbers, you know, maybe that's a little easier to manage. Um, but I, I do think that this is from a player's perspective. This is not from a coach's perspective. You know, there's one thing that I think all of us as coaches, every coach I know, is all about the players. Uh, they want what's best for the players. And when you have 140 some guys going out for the draft and 49 guys don't get drafted, and a significant number of guys get drafted in the last couple rounds from that group, which means they probably won't be on a squad in three years, you got a lot of people having failed careers and no degrees, and that's not really a good combination for them and their success in the future. Coach, what will a healthy uh, Jalen Armour Davis add to your defense this year? Well, you know, Jalen um, has got some medical issues now that he's going to have to work through, you know, over the summer. But uh, he's certainly an outstanding athlete, a very conscientious guy that, you know, he missed most of last year due to injury and uh, was not, you know, able to participate in spring practice totally because of injuries. So uh, hopefully we can get him healthy and then we can see how he can develop from there. One more guys. Coach, one of the one of the selling points of your program is the number of highly ranked guys who go on to be first round picks in the NFL. Is there a reason you can pinpoint why that percentage is higher at Alabama than at other places? Well, I, I I don't know. I mean, I think we I think what it indicates is that we do a really good job of developing players. You know, we recruit a lot of good players, and we have a lot of good players, but. Um, I think the key to the drill is, is how do we get those guys to play as well as possible for them, for their benefit, for our benefit, for their future. Um, but we try to create value with our players, you know, in personal development, academic support, career development, and to see if they can develop careers as football players. So uh, we kind of look at it from a holistic standpoint, and I think guys become more responsible and accountable when you, you create a culture of accountability around them. Um, because being responsible for your own self-determination is what being a professional is. Somebody's always going to define the expectation whether you're of what you're supposed to do and the standards you're supposed to do it to, whether you're playing for the New York Giants or working for Apple Computer. So, uh, and we're going to have guys do both. And so we want to teach some things that are going to help them be successful when it comes to some some of the values that that really create opportunities for their future.